Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I want to say thank you all for here, being here and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. This morning, we hit 46,000 46,000 subscribers. I'm wondering how many of those are actually Eagle fans because I seem to have quite a few of those on here. And you know what? It seems to be I'm living rent-free in Philly 500's mind. Um, you know, it used to be Philly 500 every day was sending me pictures of Jordan Davis in that practice. Now, you know, we, we talking about practice uh, where, where he literally took your center and drove him in the back. You know, you would have thought that that was the reincarnation of Reggie White, you know, but the last preseason game they played, he looked like he was kind of dog. I have not seen a Jordan Davis pitcher sent to me in a while. Now we've had some tragedy that's happened with, um, Tyron Smith being injured and things, and I will say the Cowboys had poor planning on their side. They got nobody to blame but themselves for their poor planning and so on. But some people are reveling in um, the Cowboys losing a player. I'm, I'm never going to celebrate. I, I'm going to tell you about people being lost. Uh, some people have made thinking that I'm making fun of Tampa Bay because Tampa Bay has lost a whole bunch of offensive linemen. And stuff. It's not that I'm making fun of it, but it's the reality of football is it is a game of attrition. And when I say the Cowboys odds get better because Tampa Bay's lost the interior of their offensive line. It's not me doing, you know, a double moonwalk here, you know, and, and you know, uh, cannoli eating and everything else and, and celebrate. I'm not celebrating any of these guys, but it's a reality of sometimes you get lucky when you play a team if they happen to be down when they do. So with Tyron Smith going down, of course, yesterday it was what are the options out there? Some are good options, some of them are bad options, but you have to look at all of them. And so – my son, uh, Philly 500, you know, um, Mr. Denzel himself, uh, Denzel Washington, um, ended up sending me a link and telling me that I wanted Andre Dillard. Let, let's go to the videotape here and, and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here. Let's listen to my son in his own words. Big news for the Cowboys today, right? Uh, of course, I don't lose any tears. I don't lose any sleep over this. But the Cowboys lose left tackle Tyron Smith for up to like three months, they're saying. Tore his hamstring off the bone clean. Like 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 Mark Holmes cooking a bunch of chickens real tender in his smoker. And it falls right off it's the It's actually bone. the ribs that are real off tender in his falling. Had to bone. have surgery. And, and they're going to miss him desperately. That is a big, big loss for the Cowboys. And the truth is... Is, is when Tyron Smith is healthy, he's great. But he seems like he's hurt a lot. He's always banged up. He missed, what, five games, six games last year for yeah. an ankle sprain or something? Yeah. So he's had some injury concerns, but this is a lot of games. I mean, this could be end up being the whole season, right? Yeah, so the Cowboys lose yep, basically. wide receiver, depth, and, and talent. They lose Lyle Collins. They lose some mm -hmm. offensive mm -hmm. linemen. Now they lose Tyron Smith. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? I'll tell you what the Dallas Cowboys or the fans. Comes. I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to DM Philly 500. They're going to email Philly 500. They're going to secretly wake their kid. Michael Anthony, where's the fizz up from naps? Why you got to bring your brother into it? Philly 500, all asking me one question. What do you want for Andre Dillard? 500, what do the Eagles want for Andre Dillard? What because he can make the do? trades, right? Oh, you want Andre Dillard? Shh, don't tell nobody. Don't we'll tell nobody until we know it's in the works. Then I'll then then I'll do a video on you. This is what Mark says. Then Cocaine I'll do a video a on drug. you melting down about us trading for Andre Dillard. I ain't melting down because you ain't getting them. <laughs> you ain't getting them. There's, it's really, really hard, in my opinion, for the Dallas Cowboys to acquire Andre Dillard. Why on earth would the Eagles want to do that? Why would the Cowboys would the want Philly to trash? Andre Dillard to the Cowboys so he can start at left tackle and protect their quarterback that we're going to come and bring pain to this year. <laughs> I'm not going to okay. do it. 
Let him call Jason Peters. Jason Peters and me, we were sitting there. I was talking the other day. We're having cannolis, a bunch of donuts. <laughs> we're both you look like you've been having a bunch of cannolis and donuts, my man. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. I, I, listen, I would never. I hate seeing ex Eagles uh, players or Hall of Fame Eagles legends play for Dallas. I hate it. I, you know, like when Randall Cunningham went there. Like I don't even remember that. It, like it, I, it's, it's blacked out in my mind. I don't even remember it. But in this case, in this one particular case, because I know how Jason Peters goes, this may be worth it. Okay, this may. Be- okay, all right. Let's stop there for a second. Now. You're lying, Philly. You're lying, son. Now, here's what's happened, okay? First of all, I am not text messaging you or emailing you. I believe that this was the conversation. He's like, you're crazy. What do you guys want with Andre Dillard now? I need at least a first. And you see my response, F that. I mean, you got to pay the big vig. F that. I'm not giving him cheap. And I said, don't want his sorry ass. And he said, that's not what I said earlier. So let's go back to what happened yesterday. Now, here's the thing. When you have things happen, you've got to look at everything out there, all possibilities. You don't leave any stone unturned when you're trying to find a solution, as crazy as it may sound. Um, And in talking of, you know, I did... 15 videos i'm sure yesterday maybe 16 or 17 going through and looking at different options that the cowboys have and as we go through this is this is actually my my videos from yesterday uh tyler smith talks about being ready to play in place of uh you know tyron smith Cowboys shuffle with Tyron Smith set for surgery. Tyron Smith set for surgery Friday. Jerry thinks he'll be back. Uh, Cowboys options at, uh, with Tyler Smith at tackle. Um, um, and I said a lot of 12 personnel, which I believe they will. Tyron, okay, so this is where I started getting to actual players. So Tyron Smith, possible replacements. Nate Soldier, pros and cons. Tyron Smith, possible replacements. Jason Peters, pros and cons. Tyler Smith needs surgery to reattach his hands. We're going backwards here. Uh, Tyron Smith, possible replacement. Eric Fisher. And then the beginning, Tyron Smith out for months. And then the night before, Tyron Smith appears to be okay. The videos I did were probably, uh, and also this morning, of course, it was um, Cowboys rumors about uh, Andre uh, Whitsworth. Uh, to the Cowboys, and of course, Andrew Whitsworth's pros and cons. So I went through all of the guys that would be possible replacements, including Tyler Smith and um, so on. I happened to say at one point, because I think it was during a live stream, I'm not even sure which one of the videos it was in, but I said, you know, because again, uh, I've also said that Ty Naseki, I said you could go sign Ty Naseki. I don't recommend it because he played – half a game and they were like we don't need you so i've gone through all of the possibilities i said even from you know if we took josh ball and started him versus tyler smith and juggling the line and i said jokingly well you know the eagles want to trade andre dillard and i'm kind of like in a passing to say that i want andre dillard i'm not giving philly jack shit for Andre Dillard. Sorry, just not going to do it. Not with the Eagles' recent history of number one draft picks. They're garbage. And to think that I want that guy, if I did, I would have done a video. Trust me. Trust me. I do a lot of videos, and I would have done a video about wanting Andre Dillard. And that, my friends, did not happen. So, Philly, don't lie on your father. Don't, don't, don't lie on me. Don't lie on me. And... um you, you know, you know Denzel. Twenty-three hour lockdown. I'm the man up in this piece. King Kong ain't got shit on me. That's right, son. You know, but hey, you got the team. 
You know, you, you got the team, man. You got everything. The Cowboys, we just lost our best offensive lineman. You know, Dak Prescott, you know, you guys say he's not a top 10 quarterback. Zeke Elliott's done. You got the best receiver in the division. And and, and uh, A.J. Brown, you say big play slay is better than Diggs. You've literally told me that every position on the field except for quarterback, you're better than. So you better be like 17-0, and 0, bro. And uh, I know how much you love Jalen Hurts. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't Hertz, handle the truth. Hurts, the pass, throws, pick. Horrible pass. Oh, my God. <laughs> 